It's Thursday, October 4th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, police in Penticton visited the Naramata home of Penticton mayoral candidate Jason Cox on Thursday, all over a neighborly dispute. Mounties were called to Cox's neighbor, or by Cox's neighbor during an argument about a set of shrubs along a shared driveway. His neighbor allegedly gra uh, has gradually trimmed them over the past week without permission. Cox told Castanet every time the past few days that he's left the house, more of the shrub was cut back. He said the neighbor admitted to cutting the shrub, saying that he would do the rest of the job as soon as Cox left that day. When Cox refused to leave the neighbor's property, police were called in. The district of Peachland is a proud owner of the former Haymoor Castle. The district took over ownership when no one stepped up to bid on the property at a tax sale recently. The current owners had not paid municipal taxes for three years, a total of nearly $16,000 that resulted in the sale. The municipality doesn't expect to own the property long. The former owner still has a year from the date of the sale to make good on the back taxes. 2018 looks like it will be a good year for wine. Winemakers in the Okanagan say they're feeling pretty good about this year's grape crop. The BC Wine Institute says cooler temperatures in mid-August and early September have resulted in solid flavor development and beautiful acidity and increased crop. Friends of a woman who claimed she was raped on the campus of UBC Okanagan held a rally at the university on Wednesday. Student Temi Ademi questioned why there was not more support for everyone on campus. University officials disputing that the rape occurred on university grounds. RCMP have acknowledged they are investigating but have not indicated exactly where it took place. Vandals are having a field day with campaign signs in and around Vernon. Reports almost daily of vandals trashing, stealing, or defacing signs. The latest candidate to have signs attacked is Vernon mayoral candidate Eric Olison. Despite costing him more than $400 to replace the sign, Olison says at least now he knows what he would look like in a long beard. With the legalization of cannabis less than two weeks away, the city of Penticton has been forwarded three applications for private retailers and one letter of interest from the provincial government. However, residents, however, will not be buying cannabis from a Penticton storefront anytime soon. The municipality is still working on creating policy to manage legal weed. Planning manager Blake Levin expects city staff will be prepared to present the final bylaws to council sometime in November or December. Okanagan Indian Band and the city of Vernon have entered into a new relationship. The two communities have signed a relationship accord which recognizes the social, cultural and economic ties that exist between those two communities. Winter tire season has arrived and with unseasonably cold weather in the Okanagan, tire shops busier than ever. Winter tires are required on most BC highways from the beginning of October through the end of March. OK Tire Kelowna owner Jerry Checkley says the tire shop is now booking 10 days in advance, so people shouldn't wait until the snow falls before coming in. Vancouver police have charged a man with exposing himself to teenage girls and women and say there could be more than 60 alleged victims. Officers say over a two-week period in July, they received reports of a man masturbating in a pickup and drawing the attention of girls and young women. They say there is no indication he tried to make physical contact that he would drive away after witnessing their reaction. And if you think you have what it takes to tick off a house full of people for 75 days, well, Big Brother Canada wants to talk to you. A coast-to-coast -coast casting call for Big Brother Canada being held at Dakota Sports Bar October 16th or 18th from 3 to 7 p.m. That's in Kelowna. Hopefuls must be willing to live in the Big Brother Canada house in Toronto for 75 days with a dozen strangers and have little to no privacy. Okanagan weather, sun, clouds, and some showers through Thanksgiving long weekend, highs 12 to 13. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, Kelowna's Gospel Mission preparing a feast for hundreds and how the Kelowna Rockets plan to prepare for the 2020 Memorial Cup. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.